Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. We're here today with uh, David Gork, the founder of the ADD Coach Academy um, and a Master Certified Coach and a Master F Certified uh, ADHD Coach. Uh, David, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeff. Always great to be here. I'm particularly excited about this. We did a show, oh God, years ago, but probably six or seven years ago about you and the story of a rocking chair and how you found that kinesthetic movement, rocking in a chair helped you focus and concentrate. We told the story of you taking the chair from high school to college and rocking when your roommate came in on you, um, was a little bit surprised, but accepted it and how you were actually able to graduate Syracuse cum laude. And everybody, again, just click into, uh, look down at the, um, description, you can find a link to that. What I want to talk to you about today is cognitively rocking. How does that help you focus? Well, uh, it helps me in a lot of ways, Jeff. It depends on the situations, but especially when I'm bored, I need that kinesthetic, kinesthetic uh, movement for my brain to be clear and to not get distracted mm -hmm. and to allow other things to come in. So what it does is it becomes like a, um, an extension of a filter for me. Okay. It filters out all those distractions and it allows me to uh, take in it and begin processing okay. without the, without the movement. I can't process things. It really, and it, it helps reduce anxiety and stress too, especially when they're, I'm overwhelmed. I just, um, it serves two purposes. It calms me down and uh, puts my brain on a level playing field mm -hmm. uh, with a filter that doesn't allow me to get distracted. You know, I was in, I was in, I was, coaching an individual for a period of time who was funny because he said one day his wife wanted to binge, flip, net, binge watch Netflix and he said he was crawling out of his skin because he just couldn't sit still. For him, he needed to be moving. It's kind of like it was a release of energy so he could actually focus. To sit still was to have to concentrate um, on the, the act of keeping still and he couldn't focus on anything else. And by movement, it could release some of that stuff and allow his brain to really focus. And we know, we know kids use fidgets and different types of stuff in school rooms. And really a rocking chair is really great for adults. And I'm hearing you use it all the time, right? Oh, still do. I've got, I've been using it for years. And, um, and, and also, Jeff, I think that the rocking is also um, a prompt for creativity uh -huh. because, because um, like you said, you get this excess of physical and cognitive energy yep. and it's got nowhere to go. So the rocking gives that physical movement yep. that just filters it out and gives me that ability to, hey, let's think about things from a different perspective. I've been very clear. Absolutely. So everybody, if you're not familiar, David wrote a book called Permission to Proceed. And in fact, today, what we want to do, those out there who have that, that energy and feel that urge to be moving in order to focus, we want to give you permission to proceed and actually do that. And today we actually, it's kind of fun because in the making of this movie, we were approached um, by an organization, Ready Rocker, who has a rocking uh, apparatus. It's not a rocking chair, but you can put it into a chair and you can rock with it. And they are really getting tapped into those that can really benefit from this for some other reasons. And so we're running a, a video right now of David demonstrating that rocker because um, he's been able to use it, you know, not only at home, but also in the car and some other places. I'm using it right now, Jeff. <laughs> All right. I'm uh, using it right <laughs> And so we want to give everybody permission to proceed. And everybody, we're not, Dave and I are not getting any payment for this. However, uh, we do want to promote if you go to Ready Rocker and you think, hey, I want to give this a shot. If you put the promo code CHAD, C H A D D, um, then what will happen is you'll get a free travel bag for your Ready Rocker and a contribution, a $20 contribution will be made to CHAD on behalf of you, which is you know, something we haven't done before. But if you, if you, if you like this concept and you want to rock and you want to, to, to help the community, you can do this. But why you would do it, really go back to what David said. If, if you have ADHD and this can help you focus, uh, we encourage you. In fact, we're giving you permission to proceed um, so that you can be the best selves that you can. Anything yeah, to add, David? Yeah, I, thanks for asking. Um, I, I want people to realize that this is a hidden strength, this movement. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's a kinesthetic strength. All the times when not knowing about my ADHD for years, I prevented myself from movement because I was punished for moving. I was punished because I couldn't sit still. And in fact, that kinesthetic strength when I'm bored 
frees me up to process and learn so many things I couldn't without it. So it's very much a strength that we don't look at that's natural. Yep. And I encourage you, everybody go to the description, click on the link, go back to the old video and hear the story of how it all happened about his grandmother and the chair and the couches and all that stuff. You'll be very, very entertained. And I hope that this is an example of accepting who you are and going forward and the success that you can have with it. So David, thank you so much for coming on the video. Thank you, Jeff. It's always a pleasure. Everybody hit the subscribe button. We release a tip each week and comments. Uh, what do you think? We have other tips, other things that you do, or do you use a rocking chair? With that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care.